Good afternoon. Um, it's 2.15. Uh, I was supposed to do prayer prior to 12 o'clock today, and once again, I forgot. Um, I had a lot of things going on this morning, and uh, it just didn't resonate that today was my day to do this once again. And I was thinking, why do I'm pretty good about remembering things. I'm almost anal about keeping schedules and doing things at a certain time. And why can't I do this? And it occurred to me that maybe God wants me to be spontaneous with you. God wants this to just occur in the moment. Um, and if that's the case, I'm okay with it. Um, but I will try to remember next time I'm scheduled to do this. Um, but when I do this spontaneously, I pick on things that uh, happened to me recently. I pick on things that we talked about maybe as a group recently. Um, and this morning, um, in reading my devotionals, I was reminded of Proverbs 3, 5, and 6, trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. And, um, and uh, then I was applying all of uh, the rest of my devotionals um, to that. And, and the question kept resonating in my head. You know, you read in the Bible everywhere um, that we are to trust God in all things. Um, we believe in his providence. We believe in his active participation in our life. We agree with um, his word being true and real and living. And, and yet when he says, trust me, do we? Do we really trust him? Um, do we really trust him to keep us healthy um, during this time when it looks like uh, the COVID virus is rearing its ugly head again? Um, even for those that have been vaccinated, the, the question is, is do we trust him with our health? Um, and of course, we all know people I have had a friend die um, uh, of complications while he had COVID. Um, I'm leery to say he died of COVID because I know him and I know that he had a lot of other things going on. Um, but when, uh, when we read Psalm 91 and it says, uh, for those who dwell in the shelter of the Most High, they will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. Uh, I will say of my Lord, you are my refuge, my fortress, my God in whom I trust. Surely he will save you from the fowler's snare and from deadly pestilence. He promises um, to save us from deadly pestilence. Do we trust him that he will? Um, because further on in that psalm, it says, your faithfulness shall be our shield and rampart. We can trust him because he says, my performance is going to be what reassures your faith in trusting me. So, but then, you know, then we'll say, yeah, but uh, Johnny died of COVID. Well, Maybe that was God's plan all along. Maybe it was uh, time to bring him home. Um, but does that, does that affect our level of trust? Does that um, diminish it? Um, I don't know the answer to all this. I do know that I trust God more and more each day um, because... He's shown me his faithfulness. Um, as most of you know, I've been through a lot of things. I've been through a lot of situations. Um, I've been through a lot of trials, both literally and um, uh, subjectively. And, 
and yet God has faithfully been with me through those and and uh, given me strength when I need it, um, given me humility when I need it, um, given me support when I need it. And um, I've just seen his active hand in my life enough to know that I can trust him. Um, but it's hard to convey that to another person. Um, you know, it's uh, one of my wife's favorite verses is, be still and know that I am God. And um, be still and, and know that what's happening in your life is me. I'm working here. Um, trust in me. It's going to be the result that I desire. And uh, so we need to get better at that. We need to trust him more. Um, you know, and apply that to the status of the country and its divisions and its apparent uh, upheavals and problems. Um, do we trust that God's working in that? Do we trust that like my wife says, uh, we're going to see him in the rearview mirror. When this is all over, we're going to say, oh, God was doing that all along. Um, but do we trust him now in the present that that's what he's doing? Um, so I'm, I'm led today to uh, bring us all one step closer to submitting to God in, in, in a way that we can enjoy the peace that he promises. Philippians 4, 6, and 7, I think, um, maybe 5, 6, 7, um, say don't be anxious for anything, but in all thing, things, by through prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your desires to God. And, and, um, and when we do that, he promises to give us a peace that uh, will transcend our understanding. We're not going to know um, why we feel like that, but we're going to feel like that because he says we're going to feel like that. So let's all... Um, and, uh, one of the things I wanted to say was it's... I don't think this comes naturally. I don't think... Um, I don't think we're built to have this innate trust in God. I think it's something we have to work on. It's something we have to practice. Um, it's something that through example and repetition, we get better at. Um, I know that's true for me. And um, so I pray that today that we have a desire uh, to... Um, trust him better, to trust him more, to trust him in all things, to trust him that he knows what's best for us, um, to trust him that he has a plan for us. Uh, the word says he's had a plan for us since we were born, before we were born. And um, that transcends my understanding because I just don't even see how that's possible. But because I've thrown a lot of monkey wrenches in what I would consider somebody's plan, um, but that's his plan all along from the beginning of time. So let's trust in that. Let's trust in him. Um, let's pray. Gracious Father, Lord, um, you are our Father in heaven. You loved us first. And you've loved us since the beginning of time. Lord, you've known us since the beginning of time. And yet, we have a hard time trusting you. Lord, we have a hard time just giving it over to you because... We want to have control. We want to guide where we're going and what we're doing and how things turn out. And yet, 
we continually make a mess of it. So Lord, let us just get better at trusting you. Let us get better at saying, Lord, guide me. Give me wisdom. Show me where you want to go. Tell me what this is about. Show me, show me how I can um, walk in, in your plan. Show me what you want of me, Lord. Um, and, and I think when we do that, Father, we'll feel closer to you. So give us a heart that desires to do that. Lord, give us, give us a heart that just wants to be near you and trust in you. And Lord, your word says, come to me as little children, and little children are full of trust. Um, they trust you to take care of them. Lord, so, and, and, and we do. I, and so we know that that's what you'll do for us, Lord. And so we are grateful that we are reminded occasionally um, that your word is real. Um, and it says for us to trust you. So today, Lord, we give you ourselves, give you our life, give you everything we have, Lord, to do what you will because we trust you we trust you. We trust you. And we love you and we honor you and we cherish you. And we pray in the precious name of your son, Jesus. Amen. Thank you, guys. See you next time.